Hello and welcome back to the channel. Last lecture was all about theoretical stuff about graph databases and how they have different sorts of advantages over relational databases as well as the NoSQL databases. So before jumping forward and learn about Cypher query language, we need to first install Neo4j on our PC. So in this lecture, I'll walk you through all the process which involves downloading and installing Neo4j on your Windows PC as well as setting up and we'll also fire some of the simple Cypher query language and we'll set up like a sample project which is provided by Neo4j itself. So without further any ado, let's get into it. Okay, so without wasting any time, let's start the installation of Neo4j desktop. So in this lecture, we are going to download Neo4j desktop on your local machine. So here that there are not much system requirements required because you will only need like a Java virtual machine installed on your Windows PC. So you can just go over to the favorite browser and search for Neo4j install. Okay, so as you can see, we can directly search for Neo4j installation windows. You can click on that and in here we can go into download and install and I'll be giving you the link to the in the description below so that you don't have to go into any hassle. So you can just go to this download of De Neo4j desktop web page and in here it's a very large download Neo4j desktop button so you can click on that and before downloading you need to fill some of the details. So it is already pre-filled for me because I have already downloaded it but to show you I'll just download it so you have to fill like personal information, email, the country, organization as well as the phone number and you can click on download. So as you can see the download is in progress right now but also you need this Neo4j desktop activation key so that when you set up your Neo4j after installing then you will need to activate your product. So you can just copy it to the clipboard and open a notepad and just save it over here. So this is like a one time activity but you will need it while installing and registering your product. So as you can see this is done so you can just click on the setup now and it is fairly very simple process and it is like a self explanatory. So let me just show you and walk you through it. So you have to choose the installation option. So here it will be limited to only you but anyone who use this computer can also use this Neo4j so I'll just give it that and click on next so it will need some admin privileges so I'll say yes and here you can choose the destination folder so I need my Neo4j to be installed to other folders so I'll just create a new folder here named Neo4j and that click OK and click on install this is very simple process so let it get completed it will take one or two minutes max and there you go the installation is already completed so you can just click on this run neo4j desktop and click on finish so it will just open your neo4j desktop and then you have to register your product and paste this activation key here okay so it is checking the system requirements now and as you can see you can click on later okay so as you can see here i do not get any notification to paste that activation key but to use Neo4j, we need to put that activation key because I have already set it up earlier in my system. That's why it didn't occur to me. But that code will expire once you uninstall your Neo4j. So all you have to do is just go into the software keys over here and just paste our key and paste it over here and just add it. And that's it. That's all you need to set up your Neo4j desktop. Now as you can see we got the projects here. So since we don't have any projects here so here you can click on new and create the project right away. But you can go into the DBMS and we have like these two DBMS installed with our Neo4j desktop which is like a latest version. And also if you go into the graph apps we have the Neo4j browser where we can query the data using Cypher and explore our loaded data as well as we have the Bloom which is like a UI on top of our Neo4j and you will do all sorts of visualizations using the Neo4j Bloom and create different perspective as well. That is totally different part and we are going to dedicate some lectures for Bloom as well and we also have the graphs app gallery and the ETL tool. So basically ETL tool is where you will bring your structured data and load it into the graph as an ontology of nodes and relationships. So that is a modeling tool. So we are going to talk that also but we will be focusing on the Neo4j browser for some of these lectures where we will learn about Cypher query language. So to create our project let's first create some project which is provided by Neo4j itself. 
So what we will do is we will go into the projects tab and here we will click on new and we will select the option of import sample projects because Neo 4G will provide you some of the sample projects and you can start working on it directly because it will have nodes and relationships labels also created and it will have the ontology. So for learning purposes, you can click there import sample projects and here there are so many of them but i'll choose like the recommendation which is a movie recommendation system and it's sort of fun so i'll just click on install here so this project loading will take some time maybe it will take five to ten minutes uh, depending upon like the whatever the version you are choosing so since i already have the installed version of this 5.10.0 then I'll just click on create password here. So I'll just give a strong password here and click on install. That's it. That's all you need to do. So if you go into the recommendations, the project is loading now. So it will take some time to kick off that project as well as a DBMS and all and loading all the data from the GitHub. So as you can see, it is successfully loaded recommendation dump into the Neo 4J. So dump file is basically dump file whenever you have a Neo4j database and you want to migrate it on a new server then you will take a dump file. So we are going to talk that later it is all about like an administrative task but for now as you can see our recommendation project is loaded so all you have to do is start the DBMS. So it will start the database and we can directly launch our Neo4j browser and start submitting our cipher queries so that will be very fun. So let it get started. Okay, so as you can see our recommendation database is active. So you can just go into the open. So it will open a Neo4j browser for you. So it opened a new window and in this prompt you can directly submit the cipher queries. So as you can see if you go into the database you will see we have the Neo4j database and the system database. So system database you will be needing to run different kinds of procedure to check your statistic about the project as well as different sorts of administrative commands. But in here we can go into the Neo4j which is like the home database and as you can see we have the different types of labels. So we have the actor label then we have the director genre of the movie as well as the movie person and the user and we will be having different sorts of relationships we have the acted in as well as the directed in genre and the rated relationships and here are all the properties which are present it is like already provided by neo4j to you for practicing and get a more grip and learn about cipher query language and also it is very helpful to build your own model as well so you can inspire by these models and also build on your own so to see like the schema of your graph you can just simply call as call db dot schema dot visualization so by this command you can see your graph ontology so that will get clear understanding of that so i'll just click on that and as you can see this is our ontology basically so once you just expand this as you can see we got the director and in director we have the different relationship going from the director to the movie so in here we got the movie and also we have like the actor as you can see director has the relationship with movie which is like directed as well as the acted so director could also be an actor we have saw this in our previous lectures as well and also movie has some genre so movie in genre is the relationship because it makes sense also we have the acted so actor could be a director as well so this is come like applying as vice versa and we also have different types of user who have watched the movie and rated some of the movies so we have the rated relationship from user to the movie and also we have the person which is like directed and acted in so the actor could also be the person right so this is how this ontology is designed basically and it is generally for the movie recommendation system and we are going to see that in the upcoming lectures as well so to see like all the nodes in your relationship there is a very simple command like we need to use the match statement so we are going to see introduction to the cipher and its different sorts of syntax as well as keywords in detail but here it is like a SQL query only so we are going to match like fetching like some of the rows here so we are going to match all the nodes here so here we have given n 
and we are going to return n so return means you are selecting some of the data from your match statement so, and we are going to also use like the limit statement here so we will limit it to like the 100 nodes only and once we run this command so you can directly run it from here or else you can click on control enter so you have just executed it and as you can see we got different sorts of nodes in our cluster since the node count you can see it is like 28k so around 28k nodes are already present in our database and we have all sorts of label attached to it so if we just zoom it out a bit you will see that this is like a drama genre and in drama we have different sorts of movies so in movies we can also give it as like the movie name here so which is like a title so as you can see in drama we have different sorts of movie which is like the confectioner as well as georgia city of the lost children and there are so many movies and also we have different genre like thriller horror action crime so you know what it is right i don't have to explain all about this data you already know so in movie we have different sorts of properties as well because like properties are like different kinds of columns in your database so once we have the table different sorts of properties will relate to these properties in the node and movie you can compare it to the table in the relational database so in table movie here for movie label we will be having millions of nodes so in this we only have like couple of thousands of nodes for movie so and also you can submit and do all sorts of analytics like count of your nodes like duplication and all sorts of thing using cipher so in the next lecture let's jump on to learning cipher and its syntax and we'll go from beginner to the advanced and very complex cipher queries as well to do some advanced analytics like movie recommendation fraud detection and so many more things so there are many things to come so just stay tuned for the upcoming lectures as well and don't forget to subscribe if you like this lecture thanks for watching